the time, so I got to go with Maui Chumps. The Paris Letdowns is like they're going to give us a good a good match, but I got to go with my Maui Chumps boys, as always. As we start off this hard point, we're watching our Maui Chumps boys. We're, we're watching Maui Chumps. And you're seeing them get early control of this hill right now. There is a battle going down on this P1 hill right now, but it seems like Maui Chumps are winning the early battles to take control of this hill. Yeah, Maui Chums winning the early battles. That's Colton M doing the dirty work, getting into the hill. K Frank sliding in, taking care of him as now time going in favor of the Paris letdowns as they're holding this from the front, which is something that I'm starting to see a lot more of. A lot more teams trying to hold this from the front. Spawn trap those team those players in the back, but kill switch on the pinch, takes down one. Colton and Silly Me combined for the other two is there. They flip this right back in their favor. And our, our, well, now the hill is contested again as Batman with the pinch. Three down in favor of Paris. That's going to be scrap time for Paris. But look at, and look at the mini map as already Paris has three players over at the P2 side. Silly me with the flank onto Frankus. And it, they're going to be breaking into this hill very soon. Kill switch, Colton combined for two. That's clean break in favor of the Maui Chumps. Yeah, Maui Chumps with a clean break. You see Paris uh, let downs right now, all spawning in the back of this warehouse side. So they still got a close enough spawn to get to this hill very quick. Let's see if they can try to break in through this hill. Player three gets taken down by Colton. And that is, and, the, and, and Paris let downs right now. They just cannot get into this hill right now. It is being scrapped, but there is a little contest right there. A little uh, back and forth coming from both teams. And you can see that... The spawns have are, are in the favor of Maui Chums right now, and they are still fighting for the sale, but there is a scrap time for the Paris letdowns. All of uh, Maui Chums got Maui Chums do have the dock side spawns, while you can see Paris letdowns are coming in from this P1 side. Yeah, Paris letdowns going to be forced to spawn this P1 side, but look at number two. That's going to, oh, well, well, never mind. That was going to be Batman, but Honey Hole takes care of him. That's a huge two piece, creates some clearance on the hill by honey hole as the maui chums are racking up this early time on p3 as they are stretching out this early lead that they have built for themselves but paris letdowns they get three down last alive is honey hole blocking those spawns his team spawns right back up on him as uh they uh, well and as i say that the paris letdowns just keep shredding them out of the hill silly me trying to stay up and make something happen but there's should be a trade coming very quickly as time continuing to go in favor of the paris letdowns on this p3 hill on berlin excellent job breaking in from the front and holding the time giants sw taking care of business there as well that's going to be scrap time in favor of paris letdowns and we are going to have our first lead change of the map Early teams of the map has came in the favor of Paris letdowns. As they start off on this next hill with control, you can see all players from Maui Chumps are trying to make this play through the back behind this warehouse side to get back there. And that is three down for the size of Maui Chumps to get on this hill. Four down for Maui Chumps to get on this hill. They try to push Paris letdowns all the way back on this train uh, alley side, dock side. Have them all pushing in from this one side, but there is the kills going back in the favor for Maui Chumps. Maui Chumps are doing a very good Good job right now of holding this p3 hill p4 hill and they're just making sure they keep all these players from paris uh spawning out paris is now spawning up from this p5 side all pushing through this middle fire trying to come through but maui chums are doing a great job right now of holding this hill batman's up he gets taken down and there's maui chums holding this hill and looks like they're getting a good rotation for next Maui Chum's doing an excellent job. They're getting that P2 control. Kind of what you want to do on P5 here on Berlin is just pick a side and try and dominate. And it looks like Maui Chum's have chosen that P2 side. But look at Paris. They have chosen the P1 long push out or train side or however you want to call this this side of the map as they're lo they've locked it down and they've got top third control they've got maui spawning exactly where you want them they're racking up the hill time looking to bring this one back they're looking to bring it back you can see that maui chumps deal with another four down for maui chumps keeping these players from uh the, well paris letdowns does have the favorable spawns for next right now but they cannot get into this hill right now export cre he just came up but he finally gets taken down paris 
letdowns are just spining out. They got to try to get in this hill. They do have their favorable P1 spine for next, but the battles are going down, and they are winning them. Paris letdowns are getting this scrap time. They're trying to get on next, but player eight, Honey Hole, has made a good play to secure P1 spines for his team. Yeah, Honey Hole is in that is in a great spot, but he's gonna challenge out to export CRE, gonna take him down by shooting him in the back of Batman with the team kill onto export. And, and that ends up breaking the hill in favor of Maui as they get are able to steal a couple seconds there. That can come back huge at the end of this map. But Paris, but Paris with these favorable spawns, Frank's gonna pick up that MP40. And uh, get, he does get taken down. Giants takes down two, though, as he's going to secure the hill for his team as the spawns have flipped. So now Paris, they have them spawning right where they want them. They're going to try and trap them in for those last 20. But that's going to be Maui breaking in. And then Batman and Franks combined for two. Export with the third. They've gotten three down. But look at number six. That's going to be silly me. He's working his way all the way to the back. And he's just going to try and secure those spawns for his team on this rotation then well they should know he's back there at this point as he just fired his weapon colton with the first entry kill export with the trade on the kill switch as honey hole with another as well and the team kill that that is three down in favor of the maui chums we have a 20 point lead in favor of the maui chums franks with the trade on or the two piece on colton and kill switch silly with three of his of his own but K Frank's going off for his team. He's on a three spree. He's looking for some streaks and he, they're racking up the time. Yeah, they're racking up the time for the Paris letdowns. This, this, this hill right now is starting to become a, a battle, a dog fight, a blood bath, but it goes in the favor of Maui Chums. Players from the players from Maui Chums are doing a great job right now of holding this hill, trying to get this contested scrap time. Let's see if they can win this battle. It's being contested. They are winning this battle, but you can see player eight. Player eight, Honey Hole, is making a play for his team. She's making, uh, he's making all the great plays, making all the great routes, and he's doing exactly what he needs to do to get these spawns for his team. And he did, and he did. Maui Chumps now have the spawns for this P3 hill, and that was a great play by Honey Hole. Yeah, excellent play by Honey Hole. He bought his teammates enough time to get to him to, you know, really force that presence there. He was able to get that that first kill on the K Franks. Batman on the pinch gets taken down. Kill switch does end up getting that team kill, so that could come back to bite him here as Paris there in the hill. Export CRE with the kill as well. Not able to take down the seconds, but they were able to steal a couple seconds out of that. So they even though the hill is in favor of Maui, it's not going to be a full 60 as the side of Paris was able to make it interesting and st again steal a couple seconds there sometimes it's all it can take when it comes down to those ending hills but Colton M looking for the long range MP40 kill not able to get it done as K Franks gets the entry kill onto the time and he's going to rack up that scrap time and then look to rotate as his team is down by 20 points but it's very manageable as they have the, the preferred spawns and they have Maui kind of trapped in the back here but silly me with a huge entry on the export. Yeah, Maui Chums are now all coming from the backside of this hill. Let's see if they can get the kills to break into this hill. And they and they cannot. Well, there's Honey Hole now. Honey Hole with two to break this hill open, wide open. Well, not really to break it, but just to get the players from Paris letdowns off the hills. And he sees them all coming through this platform side. Let's see if Honey Hole can do a great job of keeping these players from Paris letdowns back. But he, uh, he could not do it because Paris letdowns came through with four, five, six down right now to clear this hill. It's a one-point game for, for the size of Maui Chum. They got the favorable spawns in the back right now, but it's not too favorable because this hill is getting ready to, to, to take off to another hill. We only got nine seconds left for this hill. Maui Chums are are trapped in the are trapped in his backside, but Paris Letdowns are are spawning this P1 front uh, uh P1 train track side, and they do have control of this early hill as P5 takes takes uh, takes takes off. It's been a very very mixy game right now. The, the lead changes going back and forth, but right now Paris Letdowns are doing a very great job of holding this hill and trying to take a little bit of the control. Yeah, the I mean this is just the you know standard 
uh, sil silver gameplay here is it gets oftentimes in silver it gets quite mixy and it depends on your communication your teamwork but that just as i say that's going to be five down and a nice little slow down of the pace as maui chums get a clean four down but franks responds with one that's going to create an opening in the defense of the maui chums as they are stretching this lead out just a little bit as this game has been close the whole way honey hole kill switch they get two as they're pushing through to the next hill but it's paris they're on the scrap time no silly me with the win on the scrap time kill switch winning the, the gunfights in new unfortunately for maui paris does have the spawns that's going to be giants and export combining for two as well as they're going to clear out the maui chums and start racking up this time four down in favor of paris yeah, Paris with a nice board down right there. And they could do a great job right now holding this for another 30 seconds. They could win this hill. They got, they got, they, they're doing a great job of holding, but player Silly Me is on a nice little fade. He just ran right past the player from Paris let down. So this is K Frankis. This hill right now is in the favor of Paris let down. All they need is now is 23 more seconds left before they can win this game. Now the hill is being contested in the size of Maui Chums. They just broke it in right now. That's three down. Honey Hole with two to break into this hill. And there's Kill Switch holding this down. All Maui Chums need is, uh, man, my math is about to be messed up. 32. <laughs> <laughs> and then they need 23 from the side of Paris let down to make sure this game is won for both teams. This leg is going to go down to the wire. The rotation is on. Look like it's getting ready to be a, uh, a mixy rotation, but Paris let downs has control of this hill to start it off. Yeah, Paris let downs with the initial control, but Maui does a great job of collapsing as one. They, they're getting the kills. They're locking down the time. 246, 247, 248, 250. That is going to be map number one in favor of Maui Chums. But it was not easy as Paris Letdowns gave them all they could handle. Again, that is map one Berlin. Honey Hole absolutely going off on the rotations. That is two. I think yes. we, we got everybody in the lobby. Let's go. Step number one. Everybody's here. We're going to spawn in. We've got Giants. We've got Silly. We've got Honey Hole, Kill Switch, and all the all the uh, fixings here for this map. Number two, Silly, he is going to be pushing up into you. He's going to get stunned and uh, kind of back off a little bit, but his team does have P1 control, so that's going to be offering them a little bit of clearance on the, on the top-hand side of your mini-map as uh, they're looking to plant this bomb today. Maybe get a little first blood here, but as long as the, both of those guys are looking top church, you aren't planting anything on the A-bomb site. Yeah, they have they have pretty much a lockdown right now. Um, it's like Maui Chums got themselves in the lap here, but they don't even know that the player has moved, so... They gotta try to make a play to get this bomb down, but they about to get the pinch by Batman. There's Batman on a nice little flank. He got some nice angle to watch the bomb, but he jumped out uh, that top fire. Let's see if we can get him another kill. Batman, there is two down in the size of Paris Light Down. I didn't even see those kills happen. But now we got Batman right now trying to clutch it up a 1v2. Colton's in top church. Batman's playing this lower, uh, lower U area, lower mid area, trying to go back. He knows that the team for... Uh, Paris let down has to plant the bomb. I don't think he knows where the bomb is. I think he he's confused of where the bomb is. Colton now has put shots on him. Colton has gave up his position. Colton's got the bomb. He's planning the he's planning on a. Hey, let's see if he can get the bomb down before uh this player can get to top church. He made it to top church. Let's see if he's gonna go quick for the quick defuse or is he gonna go for the kill? Oh, he made the ultimate read. Did he get the kill? He got the kill. Batman with the clutch to clutch up this round. Three kills and a defuse. Let's go, Batman. Batman, coming off of a rough map number one, comes out and says, you know what? It don't matter. Map map number one is over. I've got a short memory. I'm going to start with aggressiveness. Hits the quick, hits the pinch on to top fire and kill switch. Ends up taking town three in the round, including the 1v1 clutch to start the map out three and O. Oh. Let's see if he can work some streaks, but that is a huge round for Paris. Off of a close map one loss, it's always important to get off to a good start in search and destroy. You don't want to let things spiral out of control, and they did just that. Starting off strong here in map number two, we've got Export pushed out this outer statue. He's going to get first blood onto Honey Hole, but that is a quick trade on, from Silly onto the side statue. Silly able to take down a second as well as the uh, Maui chums have that three, t three to two life advantage.
We have a 3 2 Ivan advantage. The bomb is in this back little mid area. K Frank is with the kill on Colton uh, off screen. So now it's a 2v2. K Frank is in this top fire area. See, kill switches over here playing top church. You see, push shots on Batman. He gets the kill on Batman, which leaves K Frank is in a 1v2. Uh, by itself, we've seen Paris clutch 1v2s, so this may just so it's not really over yet. The bomb is down by this A side in lower U. Uh, Frank is has to Frank's has to come get this bomb and he has to plant it. And I think, I think if he hurries up and get there, he may be able to plant it because I don't think nobody from Maui Chums is looking at A. Yeah, no one from Maui is looking at A, but uh, you still have Silly over there as he's just locking down the side that side of the map uh or sorry he it gets taken down by by k francis kill switch just kind of sitting in the top church playing all of his infos he's just you know making sure that he keeps mid -map oh, he can't control. get it down he oh can't play at the bomb that is going to be round in favor of maui just taking a little bit too much time not judging his time correctly kill switch just playing his clock to perfection making sure that the bomb isn't being planted and then running away staying alive not taking an unnecessary gunfight that's a round in favor of the maui chums and we are going to be at 1-1 heading into round number three paris letdowns on defense maui chums on offense looking like they're going to be pushing towards the a site that's going to be three stacking towards p1 smoke's coming out export pushing right through it he's going to get taken down by honey hole on the god heady and franks is watching mid he i don't know if he sees kill switch there but kill switch is absolutely there to uh take that gunfight but franks takes care of him and honey hole in you is just locking it down for his team as it looks like they have P1 control as Paris has basically given it up. And if Maui realizes this, they can get this bomb down pretty quickly. Yeah, Maui realizes they get the bomb down quick, but, you know, it's always about playing that pick, that pick game. You got players <clears throat> from the size of Paris letdowns playing very patient, just not going past the 50-yard line right now. There's a kill by Frank. It's on to Honey Hole. Uh, off camera, so there's Frank is right now on a four streak right now. Just playing real good for his team. Batman's in this top fire area. Let's see if he can find the bomb. Is getting close to his A side. Is it going down now? The bomb is going down on A, but they get Batman. Batman's making a play. He gets one. Let's see if Batman can get two. Oh, Batman with two. Let's see if Batman can get this last. Oh, the, that is all the kills. And there is Batman for the defuse for the size of Paris letdowns. Yeah, Paris letdowns on the defuse, and importantly, K Franks is able to lock in that glide bomb kill streak and still stay alive. So look for him to try and, uh, or look for his team to try and feed him one kill to get, secure that strafing run. Those could be huge as they get towards the middle portion of this game. But Paris letdowns able to win the def win the defenses so far. All all defense. Um, uh, both teams have done a great job of locking down the middle of the map on defense and making sure that uh, the offense isn't really able to do much there. But uh, looking just as I say that, the uh, side of the Maui or the Paris Letdowns are getting aggressive mid. That's going to be Giants and Export taking down two. They have mid map control and they're going to plant this bomb very quickly. They they have a four, I, uh, yes a four v two advantage and full map control. They've got the wrap. They're holding down mid. Maui Chums, you are in a tough spot. Tough spot that Maui Chums are in. Yes, they are. But if you want Colton, if you got Colton, you got Kill Switch. These guys are the guys you want to be in this 2v4. Now it's the 2v3 advantage because Colton got one. They can see Kill Switch is looking for one. Kill Switch is one. Let's see if he can find a second one. No, he cannot find a second one. But they know Colton knows where he's at. It's still a 1v2. He got he to get these two kills and try to get to the bomb. And try to get this bomb defuse. He got one. Let's see. Oh, he's playing that great. That, hey, he's playing that great spot in top fire. And he knows that he does not get there. He got to jump in the bomb and it's too late. He did a great job playing that top fire area to keep these players from Maui Chums back for the round win for for the size of Paris letdowns to go up three to one in this search and destroy. Yeah, solid effort out of the side of Maui Chums, just not a, not quite enough time on the clock to get to secure that last kill. And quite frankly, that gunfight is a. Uh, more often than not, a losing battle on the side of Colton and trying to kill K. Franks off the top of fire while he's just watching that bomb. He's just going to shoulder and run away. So 
excellent job on the side of Paris to secure the first offensive round win of the uh, of the map and take a three to one lead. As it looks like Maui doing the same thing, they got aggressive mid kill switch with the first blood, and th they're playing it a little bit more slow and disciplined. But that that's all right. They're you know making sure that they have all of their b bases covered. It looks like they're going to try and work a plant here shortly as. That's going to be silly locking down or trying to plant that bomb, but no, K Frank's not going to let it happen as he's going to try and get a, get a kill with that streak. Giants with one as well. Colton's with a trade. K Frank's with one in bottom church on the pinch as he's in a 1v2 situation. But importantly, that kill gives him his streak. So even if they lose this round, he does have another streak in his back pocket that can help him secure another round for his team. But if you are Maui, you, you forced him to use that glide bomb, and now he, he, he no longer has it. So maybe that makes things easier, and you take care of business. You secure the kill, secure the round. 3-2 in favor of Paris. Yeah, 3-2 in favor of Paris, but you can see Maui Chung did a great job of trading this last kill, uh, trading his last kill out with Honey Hole. And kill Swiss. They did a great job of winning that round to get three to two. Did not go down four to one, which is very good. Which keeps which keeps this 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 search and destroy close. We just you can see them right now. We're gonna, we're gonna watch up Paris let downs right now. We're gonna see them get the bomb. Look like they're gonna do a B push. I kind of felt like a B was coming this round, and it is coming this round right now. Players are running through this P five area. Oh, uh, this bottom house. You can see Kill Switch is out here outside this door. Let's see if Kill Switch can get one. He got one. Let's see if he get two. Oh no, he only got one. Oh, Kill Switch got two. Kill Switch actually did get two. And that is two opening kills for Kill Switch to foil this B push. Yeah, Kill Switch just playing that spot. Unfortunately, the side of Paris doesn't check that corner. And the communication just wasn't there in time for that second player to turn around and make the and Get and secure that trade. So we have a 4v2 advantage on the side of the Maui chums. K Franks is trying to lock down top fire and secure some sort of clearance for his team to cross and get pressure on another bomb site. He does get one kill as uh, he, he has export CRE with him to try and work this A bomb site, but silly, he's got all the information. He's securing the free kill as he's going to put Franks in a 1v3 situation with that assault rifle. That's going to be a tough ask. He's do taken down to 2 HP, but he is going to be able to regain, but 15 seconds left, and he needs to get three kills, able to get one onto Colton, but he's got a lot. It's a lot to ask him to secure three more or two more as he's going to get shot in the back top radio. Maui Chumps, tie this one up, 3-3. Three, three. Maui Chumps with a great best back. Great bounce back rounds, two rounds straight for the size of Maui Chum. Kill switch right there with three kills that round to, 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 to solidify it for his team. And now we got a 3-3 three, three, search and destroy, uh, uh, search and destroy right now, which is great. We get we're gonna watch Maui Chums are gonna be on offense. Paris letdowns are going to be on defense, and we're taking the size of Maui Chums right now. As they're choosing to send two players to this Miami side, we see the boomstick from Honey Hole. But you can see that that Paris letdowns are doing a great job of just being patient, not pushing too far up. Yeah, Paris letdowns being patient, letting K Frank just kind of work the map as he's done most of this map. He's sitting at eight and three. Just working the middle of the map to for perfection, but no one saw Colton work into this small area. But now they know he's there. He's going to back up, play his life. K Frank's looking for the kill, but not able to secure it. That is going to be bomb planted at A. So Colton is P5, Honey Hole with the first blood onto export CRA with that boomstick that we saw just a minute ago. That is P1 long controlled. And K Frank sitting top church trying to secure an entry for his team, but not able to do so as the Maui chums are just playing so patient, so disciplined. A nice oh. sniper rifle shot on to Giants J S W J W. Excellent stuff from him. Oh. And the turn with the pistol. That kill goes to Colton. K Frank's trying to work it himself, but. He gets taken down. Maui chums. They win three in a row. They've taken the lead. They take the swing round. They are up four to three. Maui chums up four to three. They do doing a great job of just winning these rounds. It was like, what was that four straight now? Four straight for the size of 
Maui Charm, three straight, my bad. Three straight for the size of Maui Charms to get this 4-3 advantage. And you can see that they just, they just, they just, they just, they, everything just started clicking for them. They started, they started playing together, playing their trades. And now that they're up one round and with a swing round, like you said, 4-3, but they got to play some good defense right now. You can see the full aggression for Paris Letdowns coming through this mid court, coming to the side. The bomb is getting down quick. Let's see if Honey Hogan hit this corner real quick and get the bomb planted. But he, let's see, he didn't, oh, he got, he got killed. Honey Hole got taken out by K. Frankis. Colton trades out K. Frankis to put this back to a 3v3. The bomb is down on A. Yeah, the bomb is planted on A, and a huge kill from K. Frankis to allow his teammate to, to plant that bomb. But just as I say that, two kills go in favor of, or another kill goes in favor of the Maui Chums. And that's going to be Giants taking down one in mid as well as he's in a 1v2 situation. Kill switch with the quick trade. And that's going to be silly me defusing as the Maui chums are going to take themselves to map point. Paris letdowns, you lost map number one. It was a close map. You're down 5-3 in map number two. You've got to make something happen right now. Yeah, they got to try to make something happen. But it just seems like Maui chums have gotten this team figured out and sometimes when you do search rounds right those early those are like a way this is what i got to say about search destroy the first three first six rounds are all filler rounds and then once you get past that you kind of figure out what <clears throat> what this team is doing and then you just you just you just you just on top of them every time and that's what it seems like maui chums is doing right now they're sending three players to this a site right now one player along on this on this b on this b playing power side he's on his roof you can see the shots are going down by frangus and export ce does get the first blood on silly me and there's another two down for paris letdowns so this could be a good round for paris letdowns right now they've got the 42 advantage yeah, they got aggressive in the middle of the map and just kind of, I think, three or four hit it, but Honey Hole with the kill on the, on the Franks, and he was able to get out with his life to st and stay alive and just try and work some work another pick as the side of Paris are split apart, and they're getting picked apart by Maui as kill switch with another kill on the Batman export with the kill p1 on to Honey Hole. So we've got kill switch in a 1v2 situation. And he's got to plant the bomb. He's got a lot of work to do, but luckily he does have 30 seconds to work with. I just don't know if that's going to be quite enough time as he's trying to work his way back over to this bomb, checking all of his corners. As he's, you know, I know this team plays with a lot of discipline. Check again, checking those corners, making sure he's not going to get shot in the in the back, playing those credit corners and looking to, you know. Maybe make something happen for a team that's 10, 9, 8, 7. He's not going to have time. That is going to be round in favor of the Paris Letdowns, unless they double challenge. But no, the trade or the second challenge is not going to be there. That is round for Paris. They survive and get and get themselves into another round number 10 as Maui trying to take a 2-0 lead. Yeah, Maui's trying to take it to a lead, but Paris letdowns, they are not going down. They went up 4-2. They made it close. They made it interesting, but they ended up doing taking around. K. Frank has still got his uh his glide bomb or I mean his glide bomb, his uh his uh strafe and run. So that could come in handy if they do go later into the if they, they do go to another round. But as of right now, this bomb is going down to A and it's going down quickly on its A side. And he's decided to use a streak right now. Yeah, K. Francis decided to use that streak in hopes that he can, you know, take care of that those players on that A bomb site. But unfortunately, got one. Honey Hole is on the bomb. He's defusing. I don't know if they can see him from there. They they can. They know he's. They don't know he's there. He's defusing the bomb. The bomb has been defused, and that's gonna be the Maui chums winning this map six to four. What a play by Honey Hole. He dodges the streak. And, wasn't there the composure wasn't there to close that map out i'm looking for them to just play with confidence play with energy commit to each other and commit to the play and make it happen and uh i i wouldn't be surprised to see them win this map and send it to map number four i don't want to see two three o's in one night i want to see a, at least a map number four mostly because i like casting with you and i like casting on the cod rec league so i want to see some more action but in order to do that we have to have paris take map number three as we are going to be moving to a Tuscan hard point here as we are already into the map as Paris letdowns are have opened up with a small lead, but Maui Chumps are fighting back.
Maui Chambers is starting to hit. Maui Chambers got control of this hill right now, trying to get the lead of this hill. Paris letdowns did start off with an early, early lead right now, but you can see Maui Chambers have did what they ha have, have got the kills in the control, have got the kills in the favor, and now Maui Chambers does have the spawns control of their, their favorite player seven and player four are in a battle kill switch and that was won by uh kill switch and maui chumps now as his p2 starts off has early control of these hills and has the favorable spawns yeah put maui chumps just picking up all of the important kills but paris letdown's trying to respond but honey hole colton and well honey hole again they shut that push down right away and and no push allowed for Paris and well as I say that they're able to sn sneak a couple seconds of time in but just in response Maui chums get four down as they are locking down this hill and stretching this lead 52 to 12 a 40 point lead already not quite able to get the third kill is silly as Giants locks down the scrap time kill switch already deep in the back on those rotations very important heading into this P3. Is Silly gonna gonna get that important rotation kill to get some clearance for his team? As Maui Chums is gonna have the early time. Yeah, Maui Chums does get this early time because they did make a rotation. Player seven kill switch went on a route at about 26 seconds, and now his team has control of this hill. They have full control. Look at that three down by Silly Me or two down by Silly Me to take control to make these players from uh, Paris let down. Now they're spawning on this roof side. Paris let down have this good roof side spot so now let's see if they can all break in from but they just cannot maui chums right there when the other two down but there is the break right there for Paris let down to get maui chums back and to get maui chums the spawns for this next hill yeah they're able to break in but just as we say that three kills go back in favor of maui and they are holding this one from the front which means they're able to steal a couple seconds and have that rotation set up to new as that's going to be one player taken down on rotation through P5. But guess what that gives you? That gives you information. You know that player is there. You can prepare prepare for him. You can be ready for him to show up in about five seconds. And that's going to be one player taking him down in the back. That's Kill Switch, Honey Hole, and Silly Me combined for two more. And they're going to be able to get, secure this early time. And they're going to and and also have middle of the map taken care of. Well, as I say that they they don't quite have the kills in the middle of the map as k franks and giants do take down those players but that is going to be colton securing the front of the hill as the maui chums are just locking it down but paris letdowns not going away easy paris letdowns are not going away at all but they got these bad spawns that are spawning them in this back over here by this on this field side they're all trying to they're all trying to run and they gotta just start making a rotation for next, but they still cheap, look like they keep trying to hit old with 14 seconds left and they did hit it. They did get the break, but you can see that Maui Chums have just said, forget it, we're just gonna rotate, play for next, play for next right now, and try to get these and, and try to hold down next while we got this 114 to 55 lead as this P5 hill takes off. Maui Chums has early advance and all of Paris letdowns are coming from this P2 side. Yeah, all of Paris letdowns not in the ideal location. You're gonna have to get two kills just to get to a contest. Export trying to take down that second player as they do clear out the one that's pushed out front, but that is three more kills in favor of the Maui Chums. That's four kills in favor of the Maui Chums. Five in a row for Maui. Honey Hole on a streak. He's not able to secure the last kill, but he's already 21 and seven. The kid is frying as giants trying to respond himself but they are already down by 90 points this is looking like the maui chums map here early on but paris they aren't going to go down without a fight as batman is able to sneak in to get the uh get the scrap time and export cre responding in kind in the middle of the map they are not going down without a fight, like I said, and Giants SWJW SW, working the point as his team has created some clearance. His team has created some clearance right now. Uh, Frank is right there with one, Export CE with one, Paris Letdowns are doing a great job right now. I'm holding this hill. Got players from Maui Chumps coming from this backside, from this backside park side. Let's see if Colton can get one. Colton gets one. That's a great kill by Colton. Great kill by Maui, but Paris Letdowns are doing a great job of holding this hill, making sure they get this time, trying to claw their way 
back into this game right now. They just need to try to make a route, just try to get spun. But as I say that, you can see Maui Chums with the great three down to get, to get control of these hills and to push Paris back and without the favorable spawns. Yeah, they're getting control of the hill and creating clearance on P2 spawns. And that look at that. That's going to be number five, Colton. He's going to be wrapping all the way to watch that left side push through. Again, just everything, every little thing that they need to do, they are executing to perfection right now as the side of Maui Chums always in the right position silly me with a huge two-piece with the grenade as export cre on the flank gets taken down by kill switch as they're going to be racking up this time well actually no one's in the hill k franks with the nade as well and he picks up the second kill with the smg as silly takes him down for the trade trades coming in flurries as as p2 is hotly contested k franks again kill switch again colton with two colton with three as honey hole cleans up the last kill that's gonna be time in favor of maui honey hole with another kill he is 27 oh. and 10 absolutely going he's absolutely going off right now maui chums behind honey hole is just Taking over this Tuscan hardpoint. The rotations are on right now. Maui Chums are in the bed. They got two players back there, player five and player eight. But the control is in the favor of the Paris letdown. But there is a kill right there for player eight to get on this hill, uh, to, to get back here in the back. Player five, Colton's in the back, holding down these back spines. You can see that Maui Chums do got this root side spawn, so they do got the favor response, and they got to try to... Make sure that they start winning these battles to get on this hill. But Paris let down was doing a great job until there was three down, four down by the size of, of Maui Chums. Now, all they need now is 24 seconds left to win this hill, to win this game. And 23 now, 20 seconds now to win this game. They cannot win it here, so they got to rotate. What can they? I don't know. That's too bad. Probably one second. So they cannot win it, it here. very close. It's, it's very close <laughs> to whether they're going to get that tick or not. So Giants be, be securing that rotation, making sure that they do have to earn that last second. But as you can see on your screen, Maui Chums have secured the rotation, and they're clicking that time off 242, 243. Colton locking down the front of the hill, but his teammates are doing all the work as Honey Hole gets two, as, and Colton takes down the fourth, 248, 249, a short contest, but Maui Chums able to get the map when that one was dominant. Yes, that was pure domination by the size of Maui Chums, 250 to 117 to end us off tonight. Dude, unfortunately, we had to get two...